Hello and welcome to Marnie's Storytime. Stories and videos are created and read by Marnie and brought to you by Barnell Products. Marnie's Storytime again. Let's find today's book. I think we'll look up on the shelf. I can see a green one. Let's have a look and see what this book is. Mm -hmm. The Ring-Tailed Monster in Save Our Swamp by Frank Rogers. The monster swamp was quiet, peaceful and secret place. It had been the monster's home for a very long time. One morning, ring-tailed monster looked out of her mud mound and she smiled. Ha! Ah, she said. Another lovely, quiet day. Actually, it wasn't really quiet. The monsters were singing and laughing. The birds were whistling. And small animals were chattering. But it was the kind of noise that made monsters like... Because there were no cars, no stereos. Very quiet up. Ring-tailed monster loved nature and she loved to wander through the swamp talking to the birds, the insects and the animals. They liked ring-tailed monster too and always told her all the latest swamp news. Which families were moving in? Which families were building new homes? Who was having babies? And who had just moved in? That morning, ring-tailed monster was introduced to a new animal and arrival. The pink pajama bird. Pleased to meet you, said ring-tailed monster. Excuse me for not getting up, said the pink pajama bird, but I'm sitting on my eggs. Ring-tailed monster smiled. Will they hatch soon? she asked. She didn't hear Pink Pajama Bird's reply, however, because all of a sudden there was a tremendous roar from the edge of the swamp. The animals were terrified. It must be the wild monsters, they cried. Run! Hide! Everyone scattered. Ring-tailed monster heard the roaring noise again. That doesn't sound like the wild monsters. Bravely, she crept out and peeped through the leaves to see what it might be. Coming slowly across the swamp, towards her was a huge bulldozer. It knocked down and crushed everything in its path as it prepared the way for a new road. Oh, gasped ring-tailed monster. That thing is flattening the swamp and we're all in danger. Frantically, she rushed away to warn all the other animals. Can't stay here, she cried. You'll be flattened. Come with me. And she led everyone away from the bulldozer to the safety towards her monster's mud mound. But when they got there, Hairy Monster told them that he'd seen the bulldozer too and that the mud mounds were right in its path. Means we'll have to move and leave, said Curly Top Monster. Leave, exclaimed Lesser Spotted Monster. But this is home. All live here. We must save our swamp. Perhaps we should talk to the bulldozer, suggested Furry Monster. Ask it nicely to go away. Hairy Monster shook his head. I don't think it would, he said. It looks more bad-tempered than the wild monsters. Just then, ring-tailed monster gave a shout. Where's the pink pyjama bird? Oh no. All the animals gasped. 
They had forgotten about the new arrival in all the excitement. Got to save it, cried ring-tailed monster. Going to get flattened. So will you, shouted the monsters, as ring-tailed monster rushed off. Be careful, they all cried after her. When ring-tailed monster got to the pink pyjama bird's tree, the bulldozer had almost reached it. The ground shook and the giant machine thundered forward. Ring-tailed monster called to the pink pyjama bird as loudly as she could. Come down, she cried. Give me your eggs, I will carry them. Pink pyjama bird looked down. Hmm. I'm staying here, she said. My babies will hatch soon. But what about the bulldozer? Wailed the ring-tailed monster. You'll get flattened. Pink pyjama bird just waved her wing. But the bulldozer has stopped, she said. Ring-tailed monster looked. It was true. The bulldozer had stopped. Not only that, but people in the bulldozer were watching and listening. That's a pink pyjama bird, they cried in absolute amazement. That's the rarest bird in the world. We can't flatten that. We'll have to go around. This is where the pink pyjama bird lives, they said, and it wouldn't be right. We'll just have to move the road somewhere else. So the bulldozer turned round and trundled away, never to be seen again. Hooray for ring-tailed monster and the pink pyjama bird, cheered the monsters. Our swamp is saved. The monsters were so delighted about not having to leave their swamp. After all, so they had a big party. And all the animals, the birds and insects were invited. And the guests of honour, of course, were the ring-tailed monster. And the pink pyjama bird. And her four newly hatched pink pyjama chicks. <laughs> well, I certainly enjoyed that story. So you just never know what one person can do to help save the environment. Mm, it's food for thought, isn't it? Well, that was today's enchanting story. So I'll meet you here next time on Money's Story Time. Bye. Well, that's the end of today's video story. We hope you enjoyed it. And to see more of Marnie's stories, press subscribe and the notification button to be notified of new postings as new stories are put up.